I'm Izzertastic, and today we're going to explore the principle of design proportion to create a very, very interesting, giant Valentine's candy. And of course, we're gonna add ourselves in this lovely landscape. So grab your favorite Mark Mickey mediums and let's make some art. <music> All right, we're gonna begin our artwork that focuses on the principle of design proportion by drawing a sideways heart on our page, but it's going to be in perspective. So this side's going to be a normal side. This side, we need to make it look slightly smaller and that's going to create this illusion that it's on the ground and that it's going off towards the distance. We can imagine that things in the foreground in front of us are bigger than things in the background. And that creates the illusion of depth in our art. We're gonna add um, the sides to this giant candy. So I'm just bringing a nice curved line and tucking it back in there. I'm just gonna add a little line there for the edge. And now we must write the official words of Valentine's Day candies, which typically are B, mine. Be mine. Now, there are some things happening here because right now, this looks pretty normal. But it's not normal because this is all about using proportion and kind of manipulating it to make this look huge. Now, in order for this to look huge, we must make something that we typically think as being big and make it very small beside it. And that's going to show us the relationship between that thing and this. And that relationship will tell us how big it is. And what we know very well is ourselves. So you're going to draw yourself small on the paper. So add yourself a teeny tiny version of you. Now you might not even see all those facial details, you might just see part of you because you're so tiny that we can't see you. Now, I'm always wearing black yoga pants. <laughs> so we'll add that. And I'm wearing a hoodie because I really, really like hoodies. And my hands are up and waving there because I'm like, whoa, this candy is giant. And now, so I don't look like I'm floating in outer space, I must make a shadow. And I'll just indicate it on the ground, just a little bit like that. Perfect. Okay, so there's teeny tiny me. I'm about the size of my thumbnail. Very interesting. All right, so we're gonna take a nice little cruise on in here. And we're gonna add a house. Or you can add your school. You can add anything you want. So let's draw a triangle if you wanna add a house as well. And we're gonna make this 3D. So we're gonna draw two lines up and one line down. Make a nice little roof there. Draw in some walls and make those lines in the back shorter than the line in the front and then connect, keeping this line parallel with that one and that one in parallel with this one. And that's gonna create your house. Add a door so you can get in and out of that house. 
you want. You can add other details like windows or awfully crooked windows anyway. You can add roof texture or maybe there's a chimney on the other side. Whatever details you want, you can go ahead and add them. I'll add a little tree there because that's going to tell us exactly how big this candy is. All right. Now we can add some grass texture here and there. This house is a little bit further off in the distance compared to where I am. So we gotta make those little grass details much smaller because that will create, again, the illusion of depth. It's all about proportion. If we look at just this part, it makes sense. But when we add that in there, it's a lot different. All right, now we're gonna draw our horizon line. And you can add a nice wavy line behind that to create a hill. And what's bigger than a hill? Well, of course, some mountains. Now mountains are quite more jagged, so use your zigzag lines. And finally, we're gonna add a sun with a circle. And we're gonna add a couple lines around that to make it look like it's glowing. And I like to add clouds with some wispy wavy lines because that's how I draw clouds. <laughs> but if you wanna draw it in a different way, go ahead, you do you. Now, you can go ahead and add any other details you want, but when you're ready, you sure can color with me. So here we go. First, we're gonna grab a color that you want your candy to be. So mine is, go oh, no, I don't want it to be blue. I'm gonna use that for my sky. I am going to make my candy uh, a pink one. So, Go ahead and color in that candy. You know what? We're going to go right over those letters and go back over them with blue and that will make them darker. And we're actually going to use that same technique on the side. So we're gonna use a nice, my blue to shade. So we're just gonna color it in. And then we're going to use that blue to shade. Okay, so first I'm gonna use my blue to shade this side. You can see how realistic that looks. Makes a nice value. And now I'm going to go ahead and color in the letters. And it still has that pink showing through, so it feels cohesive, but it is darker. Perfect. I'm also going to use this blue to outline my mountains and clouds. I'm not going to color in the whole background, but I will color part of it.
you can go ahead and color in the rest of the landscape. And just like the background, I'm just going to color part of the foreground. And finally, you can use a greater shade. Just like that, your lovely, lovely artwork, perfect for Valentine's Day, is done. 
If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.